Hello everyone, welcome to part two of the Microwave Repair Cafe, a series of videos I'm trying to do, trying to repair my microwave. So I took a look at the microwave and uh, it wasn't heating. Instructions from the internet uh, say that it's either the relay, the capacitor, or the, um, the diode. It can also be the magnetron. I tested the magnetron, it seemed fine. It was the easiest thing to uh, test. Um, so I'm left with the relay, the capacitor, and um, the diode. I think if the capacitor wasn't working, we wouldn't have any power at all on the microwave. So I don't think it's the capacitor. So it can be the diode, and that was the main culprit. I managed to extract it from the microwave uh, after I figured out how to um, shorten the capacitor to make sure that I wouldn't die a horrible death. Uh, I'll probably do a video when I try to reassemble everything uh, on the microwave. I'll do a video about that. Uh, for now, let's show you how to test the diode um, on, on from the microwave. So diode is this thing. It's uh, a one-way uh, one street for sending the current. Um, this part is usually connected to the ground. And that part is usually connected to the, the one of the LEDs of the capacitor. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you have a um, um, uh, multimeter with a high enough uh, home amperage uh, in 2000s, you can measure it directly uh, from the two sides of the capacitor and you'll see the resistance between it if it changes or not. If you don't have, like me, that bought like the cheapest multimeter around, uh, the maximum uh, ohms that I have is 2000K. It doesn't reach uh, the, the M's. So what I need to do is put it on the DC voltage. And with that here, I'm gonna test first the, um, the um, battery itself, make sure that it's good, 9.4. Uh, reading so it's a proper 9 volt battery seems okay and now we're going to test the connection through the diode and see if it changes or not because what the diode does is will reduce the voltage a little bit by consuming some of it so you can see that the black wire from the com here is connected into uh, the negative of the battery and then the positive of the battery is connected with the red wire to this side of the diode the side is important so you need to check where the where the stripe is and that's usually what connects to the ground so it means that the electricity flows from here to there only so so yeah connect the plus there and then we're going to measure on this side and if it's a good one you see you have a reading of 4.9 which means that it is drawing some of the of the battery life from uh, 9.4 to 4.9 so it's taking some. I don't. <coughs> I think the value is um, okay-ish, and this is a good diode. I need to confirm with some um, electrical engineer uh, friends of mine, but I think it means that it's working. If it would be uh, 9.4 exactly the same as the battery, that would mean that it was just going uh, throughout without any resistance so it would uh, not be working properly and if it would be a zero it would mean that it would be um i'm not i'm not sure if the correct word is shorted i think shorted is the other way around uh, the 9.4 but it would um not be passing any current at all so that would be broken as well i think when you have slightly less voltage than the battery that's when you're in the good spot and the diode is working so that's bad news for my repair cafe so I'm not quite sure. I think this diode is fine. So I think the problem might be on the relay. So I need to figure out how to test the relay, which is mounted on the PCB directly. Uh, managed to spot it. It's different from the relays that I've seen on the video. So I had a little trouble spotting it, but I, I think I figured it out now. So yeah, I think that's my next point. Anyways, if you know anything about uh, repairing microwaves and want to leave a comment behind on how I am doing something terribly, obviously stupid, please feel free to comment that. Uh, until then, see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.